Hey Internet, this is a quick video to demo what's new in um, Visible, the uh, video processing plugins for Ableton Live uh, using Max for Live. This is in version 0.9.2. Um, so I'm going to drop in a grabber. Uh, Max for Live will open up and turn it on. And there's my webcam. Um, and next I'm going to add a viewer. So the first thing you might notice if you saw the earlier versions of these plugins is um, these plugins now auto connect. So they work just like audio or MIDI plugins in that they just find each other and connect. That's thanks to Chris Go in the um, Jitter for Live Google group, which I'll talk about a little bit later. They've also got now got these drop down boxes, so. Um, you can pipe video all around the place, send video from track to track, um, anywhere in the live set. Um, I'll drop in a new effect and show you how this works. You notice that the effect just, these connections just find each other and the effect is on. Um, this is a Zampler, which is a new effect that came out with the new version of Max for Live. Um, another new thing is if you turn the plugin off, it bypasses the effect. Another new thing is if you click these preview windows, it turns them off. Another thing just to save um, some processing power. The viewer module is now GL optimized, which just means it runs a whole lot faster. Um, and it's got a couple of controls which are global, so this drop down menu changes resolution for all of the effects, which just keeps things running nice and fast. Um, you can also toggle all the preview windows using the viewer module and has a couple more settings for using it in full screen and things like that. Um, another thing that's happened in the last couple of weeks is um, Fabrizio Poche in Amsterdam has released a new set of plugins which are very similar to Visible but they have lots of OpenGL stuff and some more video processing things and we've joined forces and are using the same connection method so all of these plugins can talk to each other you can have vModule plugins and Visible plugins in your set and get them all interacting. Um, I'll just show you how that might work. So here I've got set up um, a group of visible plugins and a vModule plugin all working together. What's happening here is this vCycle stuff um, plugin from the vModule set of plugins is sending out on stream one and this is a really cool plugin that just sort of creates psychedelic patterns. Um, I've got a visible player set up here and this actually has some new features as well so but now when you load in a folder of videos and save your live set that folder of videos will load up with your live set so you can have your whole set set up so that videos will trigger with um, with all your music and all be in sync and when you load up your live set everything will be there ready to go you just hit play and it'll run I've got this vCycle stuff coming out of um, manually coming out of stream one I've got this player coming out of video one, so you can see here we've got a drop down list with all the um, possible outputs, so you can still manually route stuff around even when things connect automatically. And then I'm using this alpha blender here to blend between cycle stuff and my webcam using this visible player's video, this flame on a black background as a mask. I can flip the mask around, so then I'm sort of in here. Hello. Um, yeah, but there you go, we've got sort of this colourful, trippy flame made with a mask of a flame and a vModule plugin. Um, of course, it's all MIDI automatable, you can get it to run with music, react to tempo synced things. A really good workflow is to set up all your effects and then turn them off. You can even group them in a rack and um, assign them to MIDI controls and then you can toggle them on and off with um, clips in your live set. So when they're off, they're not using any CPU and you turn them on and all of a sudden you've got the effect. Yeah, so there's some of the there's some of the new things in Visible. Check it out. If you're if you really like it, get in contact or better yet, join our Google group. So this Google group, Jitter in Max for Live, this is where um, there are a few of us just discussing um, you know testing out the plugins and putting out ideas of how to make them better. Um, if you want to get involved in de further developing these Visible and vModule plugins, you can come and help us make Ableton a really cool audio-visual environment. As always, check out my website for all the cool stuff that's happening, zealousy.com, and thanks for watching.